Welcome to February's Art Market Pets Pet of the Month. We hope you've had a lovely festive season and are ready to get back into it. Today we have Di and her best friend, Mr. Maxi, our February Pet of the Month. And he's actually 12 years old, which is a great achievement for a little dog. So what do you think the secret is to having a l healthy, long-living dog? Um, I think it's it's mainly the, well, a good part of it is the food that they're given and regular exercise, um, regular um, veterinary treatment, of course, and, of course, lots of love and cuddles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they get lots of that at home. Today we've also got Max's best friend here, Mr Bo, who's just on the floor waiting very patiently. Can you say hello, Mr Bo? So Di, do you think diet makes a difference in their life and what do you actually feed your dogs? Um, yes, I think it makes a big difference. Um, these two have um, hills in senior mm -hmm. and um, with the occasional treat, a little bit of cheese here and there doesn't hurt, um, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't give them people food. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Are you very strict about not giving your dogs people food? or uh, They have a, a little bit of vegetables and a little bit of cheese, but that's about it, yeah. I think it's best to stay to um, uh, the diet that the experts have um, worked out. Yeah. I've spent lots yeah. of research and yeah. <laughs> time working out what's best and healthiest for them. Do you still take them to the park or cafe? or? Oh, yeah, they go to the park regularly as well. They love the yeah. park. Um, yeah, and they'll occasionally come to the cafe with me and we'll sit outside and... Oh, I'll have a cappuccino and they'll be admired. <laughs> <laughs> so they're just a little bit slower in their old age, are they? Yeah, it's just a matter of just changing things around yep. a little bit, making a few adjustments around your house if you need to. Like they have um, arthritis, so they have a ramp to get in up the back um, step in through their doggy door. And yeah, and they have um, yeah, some cartrothrin injections at the vet and, and whatnot. So that um, all helps. And, and um, with their dental hygiene, have you found from um, concentrating on that at a, at a young age, age, does that help them out in their senior years? Um, yeah, I think so. I think that dry food helps and um, they have a munch on a carrot here and there as well, which I've been told will cl help clean their teeth. So okay, well, It's good for our teeth, so why not for this? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so Maxie's helped I pick out a few different treats with our $50 voucher this month. We've got the Science Diet Treaties, which is both their favourite foods. We've got a pink little bunny soft toy, some chalk drops, which are a real um, favourite popular treat at our store. Also the new ones, the Bark Bars. These are an interesting new one. We'll have, they'll have to tell us how they like them. And also our Pitter Pat treats for their little cat friends at home. So thank you very much, Di, for coming in today. And thank you very much, Mr Maxi. Thanks for making the effort to come in. And we'd like to wish you all the best for the new year. Thank you very much and thank you for all the goodies. I'm um, sure they'll enjoy them and for um, selecting us. No for worries. Thank you.